everybody, and welcome back to CNC RC Adventures. Today we are going to take a look at the new Proline Hyrax wheels and tires. Um, these have just come on the market. I just got these the other day. I took them out of the package, but I haven't actually done anything with them. Uh, they do come in a set of four. You know, a lot of tires these days just come in two, but this comes in a set of four, um, which is good and I think the uh, price is pretty reasonable I can't remember how much it was around 20 bucks um, they do come on mounted on plastic bead locks you can see there's three screws that hold it together on the back um, they're not glued so you can take off the wheels tires swap them around whatever um, size wise here is a stock Jeep slash deadbolt tire. Um, so you can see the Hyrax is a little smaller. Here's a stock C10 tire. Hyrax is just a little taller, not much. Um, here's a set of Patagonias, which are mounted on stock wheels. Um, so the Hyrax is about the same size. Um, so it's, it's going to be a good size. It should work for most vehicles. So one of the things that I'm noticing and that I've seen other people talk about is the wheels themselves. It's really great that they come with wheels and it's really great that they come with beadlock wheels, but the offset is kind of weird on them. Um, the hex is set pretty far down inside the wheel compared to, you know, some of the other aftermarket wheels. Sorry. Um, and these, where these bolts are placed, I'm afraid they're going to end up hitting knuckles or things like that. If you, if you're running aftermarket, you know, brass knuckles or whatever. So I may try to run them on these wheels. I may not. Um, I'm going to run them on this Jeep that that's my main vehicle it's currently running Wranglers on trio wheels um, I drive this one the most so I know how it performs and where it gets traction where it doesn't so I think it's going to be a good way to compare the Hyrax to it plus they're being about the same size you can see as the as the Wranglers so um, I think that'll give me a good comparison so let's get these mounted up and we'll see how they do. Okay, so one issue I've run into right off the bat is I run these brass uh, weights that come with wider axles and they make everything about five or six millimeters wider. Um, these screws won't allow the wheel to sit down on the axle that's as far as it goes so I couldn't possibly put a nut on it and it's not even hitting the hex so it's just kind of sliding around um, on a stock vehicle it would probably be okay um, but I don't know I think I think Proline kind of missed the mark on these wheels because you know it really limits what kind of upgrades you can run if you want to keep running these wheels so now that I've seen that, I think I'm going to go on and take these Wranglers off of these trio wheels and put the Hyrax on that and see how those go because I know these trio wheels fit. So I'm going to also try it on a um, homemade foam course. Uh, I'm just trying to try these tires on as many different terrains as we can. This stuff has pretty good traction with most tires. But there are some steep parts on this that uh, some vehicles struggle with, so we'll just kind of see how it goes. So right here, coming up is one of the steep sections. That doesn't doesn't look like it's too much of a problem. And they grip pretty good going down. And just turn around and go back across. Yeah, 
head didn't didn't slip at all. So if I, you've got one of these foam courses, I think these tires are gonna be perfect for it. Uh, I'm gonna try this other line here that's a little a little different. Those seem to hook up really, really well in this. Uh, so next thing, we're gonna go out and try them on some actual rocks at our local course. Somebody left it out here. I don't. We just found it out here one day. No. You can get off right here. Look. You're coming up through there. You can get off right there and come up this way. With that being said, I am planning on going to a bigger tire. Heavier yours is. I don't think yours. No. Just get that wheel over. Watch that one wheel. I think next thing for this thing is the future's gonna be some brass hose. Catching up. I keep falling. You know what? You need a little rock. There you go. Oh, yeah. You need a little rock right here so you can just get that back tire up on it and it will go, I bet. Well, I can use to make this. That will work. Hey, man, that will Through there. Cool. Do you you can go up this? Hold on, I said back up. Yeah. See if you able to make it real quick. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so after doing um, plenty of testing and putting them through their paces, uh, final thoughts are. These are probably the best tires that I've tested for a 24th scale crawler. Um, and that's saying a lot. I've tested a lot of tires. Uh, there's a lot of good tires out there. I'm going to go out on a limb and say these are the best ones that are on the market right now. Uh, maybe something else coming out better. But uh, right now, I don't think there's any tire out there that beats these tires. They work in every condition that I put them in. Um, they performed as well as or better than any other tire that I've ever used, no matter what the terrain. Um, go get some. Put them on your car, and you'll just gonna see a world of difference. These are, like I said, these are probably the best tires that I've, not probably, these are the best tires that I've tested for one of these 24 scale crawlers. So I uh, hope you liked this video. Um, Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thanks.